In this short video tutorial, we'll understand how to increase the height of the cursor that you see on the console window when you run the C-sharp program. So if I run this empty C-sharp program and we look at the console window, you notice that this cursor which is blinking over here has a small height. So how can you increase this height so that this cursor becomes more visible on the console window when you are executing your c -sharp console application. So this is what we'll understand in this video. Let's print a simple string on the screen by making use of by making use of the console.writeLine function. Now after we print this string, the cursor will move to the next line because we are using the write line function. So after it prints this string, it will move the cursor to the next line. Now how to set the size of the cursor? The console class has a property by the name cursor size. So you can give it an integer value and it will accordingly, depending on the, the value that you have given, it will increase the height of the cursor on the console window. So let's run this program and see if we get the desired output. So I have put a breakpoint on the cursor dot set, uh, the console dot cursor size, uh, you know, uh, line because I first want to see the output after executing this line and see the height of the cursor. Then we will execute this line and we will notice the change in the height of the cursor. So let's run this program in the debug mode. Now on the console window, you can notice that the hello world string has been printed. The cursor has moved to the next line and it's blinking and you can notice the height of this cursor. Now let me go back and now execute this line which has increased the size of the cursor because we have given it a value 100. Now if you notice that this cursor height has now increased and you can notice that it's a bigger height cursor which is now blinking below the hello world string. So for some reasons you might want to increase the height of the cursor on your console window. So you can do this by using the cursor size property given to you by the console class and you can give it some integer value and accordingly set the height of the cursor on the console window. So with this, we'll end this short tutorial here. For more free c -sharp learning content, please visit openeschool.com slash learn c -sharp. Also, please subscribe to our channel to get regular updates on the new videos that we add. Thank you.